Hello everyone, Jamie Fry here. Um, I'm going to take a few minutes to show you how to do two things. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you how to do is edit your personal Edlio profile page. And the second thing I'm going to show you how to do is edit your department page, um, which is going to be for elementary, your grade level page for your class, um, or for middle or high school, your uh, page for the courses that you teach on your grade level. Um, so first I'm going to show you the personal page. Uh, when you log in, um, and the link you can get to log in from your tech team members, your principal, your assistant principal, or your instructional coach, you're going to click the pages tab. This is the page, or the pages tab is the button that we're going to click for both the personal pages and the department editing. We are going to click personal pages first. And when you do that, you're going to come to a page where you should see your name here. Um, I want to bring your attention to this drop down bar on the right. When you click this drop down bar, you're going to see um, I've already created two pages here. The pages above the series of hyphens are the pages that you have created that will show up on the menu of your profile page. I'll show you that in a minute. Down under those, though, you've got more options. You can change the order of these pages that you've already created, or you can create a new page. If you create a new page, it's going to um, you know, appear up here with whatever you choose to name it. I'll show you the options that you've got really quickly. Oops. You can, you can create a photo album if you'd like. You can create a series of videos that scroll. You can um, create a page of links if you want to make a resource page for your parents or for your students. You can redirect to another page. So um, if you wanted a link to Canvas from your teacher profile page, um, you know, just for students to log in, or if you've added parents to your Canvas course just as observers, um, you can do that here. Um, or if you'd like to link to an external website, you know, for a different tool that you're using, you know, maybe Twitter or BrainPop or anything of that nature, you can do that as well. If you click Other, it's going to create a blank page for you to edit. Um, so I'm just going to write Test Page and create that. Now notice, like I said, it appeared up here above these hyphens, and it is one of the pages you can edit. I am going to go ahead and go back to my home page, though. That's my profile page, the primary page that I have when you click my uh, profile on the website. Um, and as you'll see, I've just entered some sample text. Welcome to the home page. For more information, please check the links to the pages on the right. I've also attached a photo here. When you upload a photo right here, it will appear on the right-hand side of your page. I'll show you what that looks like. So we're just going to click Save. We're going to um, open up to newtonconover.org. And we're going to go to find my home page. We'll click my profile page. And you'll notice that on that home page, all the information that I had input does appear. On the right, my profile picture and job title show up. You can uh, click a button to send an email and subscribe to your home page. So parents, anybody can really can subscribe to updates when you make any changes on your page. The photo that I uploaded appears under the menu here. And then here is the menu of pages that you've created. So if you click the Google Apps Canvas course, it will take you to the link to the syllabus for the Canvas class that I created in a previous video. Um, and then there's that test page that I created that's just blank. Okay, so that's really all there is to do for the first part, which is creating and editing your personal profile page with information. Um, but now I want to show you how to edit your department pages or your grade level pages. So to show you how to do this part, I've taken us into Shuford Elementary's website. Um, we are going to click the Pages tab, just as we have before. This time we're going to start out from the Departments tab. At the bottom you're going to see, you may either see Departments or Grade Levels depending on the school that you work at. Click Grade Levels. Um, you do have to make sure to be able to see these, excuse me, Department Pages that your um, website administrator um, has given you full edit access to your department so it will show the department that you can edit. I can see all of them only because I'm a website administrator for the district. Uh, but we're going to choose kindergarten for now. 
when you click kindergarten um, or whatever your department is you're going to come up to a list of the pages that currently exist these will appear on the right hand side of the page just like the pages that you saw created from your profile page and every time you add a new page it will you know add in that menu so what I'm gonna do is click add a page and since we're at Shuford Elementary I'm gonna create a page for Miss Hobson okay so here is your basic page editor for your department page you've got a little bit more functionality than you do for your personal profile page you can hover over these buttons to do one of three things. You can add text, and you know, you've got your insert link, you've got different formats, you can insert code as well. Um, you can clear formatting, you can even insert source code, depending on how detailed you want to get. So what I'm gonna do is say welcome to Ms. Hobson's class. And below that, I'm going to add a sample photo. Um, just add the NCCS logo. And below that, you can add files. Um, I'm not actually going to add any files, but it's an option that you can do. On the right hand side as well, you'll notice that before, you remember when I uploaded a photo, it showed up on the right hand side of the page at the bottom. You can actually add text, files, or photos that you would like to float on the right hand column of the page as well. Um, you know, that's completely up to you. I will add a sample photo just so that you can see what that looks like. And some text. Okay. Add a photo. I'll add another logo. Okay. And we will save that page. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like on the live site. So to get to this page, we're going to go to academics and grade levels or departments, depending on your school. I'm going to click kindergarten. And you're going to see that now it took a minute because we had to refresh the page, but Miss Hobson's kindergarten now appeared. So I'm going to click that page, and here are the edits that we made to that page. So you've got your text, your photos, files if you chose to upload them, the menu of all the pages, all the teachers' pages would appear here on the right, um, and you're good to go. So this is where you could link your Canvas course page for your class. On the high school, middle school level, you could have a separate one. Um, for each course that you teach um, that's completely up to you so I hope that this has been a helpful tutorial if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to let me know um, good luck and happy website editing